I'm gonna plant all this corn. I don't have a lot of popcorn this year. I'm so excited. This was like the best popcorn ever. Super small, like it's definitely like a small kernel. Um, but so good. It like has like this nutty flavor. We don't even put butter with it just cause you cook it in oil. So then the olive oil's on it just slightly and then just put like some seasoning on top. It's so good. Uh, so I want more. Um, yeah, it rained. So good thing I tilled when I did cause now it's rained so I can go put these in the ground and I need to hurry up before it rains again. Thank goodness we're getting rain. Like seriously, thank goodness we're getting rain. There's so many fires going on. Like it's still super smoky out. You can't see the sky, but it's better. It's a little bit better. All right, here is my corn plot. Got a little bit of garlic up at the front. I really need to weed it. And then I do have some onions in here as well, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. I'm not totally sure where. I think it's like in here, there's a few. So I didn't till that half, but then none grew down here. So it's all tilled. Really need to weed this garlic patch. But the garlic is growing beautifully. This front half of garlic, it's much bigger than the back because these were cloves. Um, garlic cloves that we put in and then these were the garlic seeds that we did so garlic seeds will take a couple more years Okay, right, making the decision. I didn't go all the way with my corn because I mean, like that's a quite a bit all the way down to this rock. Here we go. Okay, so all of this is corn, popcorn specifically, pink popcorn. <laughs> um, and then I just have this little end section. I'm gonna put some butternut squash in because um, I'm realizing one, I planted a lot of squash. Two. I don't really want squash in like my garden area taking over. So I'm gonna put it some of it in here. Uh, I maybe only have room for about six, maybe six, we'll see. Um, but I got a lot of squash and a lot of watermelon and a lot of cucumbers. So we'll see about that. I'm realizing that I have a tag for all of these. These are strawberry melons don't know what these are. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I do this to myself all the time. I think I'm so good at labeling and no, I don't know what these are. Oh well, shoot. I got this planted. Now I'm sitting here debating if I put my peppers in the ground or not. Looking at the weather, it looks like it's going to be warm enough. We're getting a lot of rain, which is really good. Like 22 millimeters of rain. I put them in before the rain. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of just want to like get everything in and kind of be done. <sighs> decisions, decisions. And on the note of decisions, I have 50 pounds of potatoes, 50 pounds <laughs> to figure out where to put them. So that's also why I kind of want to get everything in my garden and see what I have room for. I don't have room for potatoes though, I know that. Not 50 pounds worth. <laughs> so I could go till up another plot and put potatoes in it. I wanna grow them. I do. <laughs> I just don't know where to put them. <sighs> well, I guess one thing at a time. I do have some tomatoes that need to go in the ground. They're indeterminate so I needed to put up a trellis to put them in so I'll do that one step at a time and then I'll figure out what to do next <laughs> decision made I'm planting my peppers <laughs> looked at the weather forecast the lowest is gonna go is eight which uh, is a little bit low for peppers they won't like anything below 10 but, like they won't die and I'm not waiting any longer because like they're flowering and they really shouldn't be so I should probably get them in the ground okay Planting the peppers right now. Let's go. Get the motivation. 
we can keep going. I guess first things first is get all of the peppers in their own category. That's a can. So that I'm not growing a bunch of random peppers and tags all over the place. <laughs> I can just harvest one whole row of one kind of pepper. So let's see. Edvarsky. This is going to be harder than I thought. <laughs> it's going to take forever. Etuda, I think it's called. Yeah. Oh, here's my eggplant. These grew beautifully. They started wonderfully. We're going to need more space. Let's put them over here. Okay, Etuda. I don't even know if that's how you say it. There's always random names with plants. These are my tomatoes that I killed. I mean, I purposely didn't care for them because I already had what I needed. Okay, that's cayenne. It's raining and I really want to finish, but I only really have like 20, maybe 22 in the ground. <laughs> and they look lovely. Uh, no, I'm gonna just keep going. If it gets bad enough, I'll just go inside. But I really want to get these peppers in the ground. Oh, I finished all 55 peppers. I just got, I mean, my back is all soaked. It's raining out there really hard now. But I did it. They're all in the ground. <laughs>